Welcome to the additional podcast called Divorce Tips, where I answer some of the most asked questions regarding before, during, and after divorce. These are 10-minute golden nugget episodes to give you as much information as possible from a divorce expert. That's me. Let's go. Welcome to another episode of Divorce Tips, Thankful Edition. Today, I want to talk about how we can be thankful for new beginnings. I know that going through a divorce is hard. There's so much change. There's so much upheaval. There's so much unknown, and it can be so scary. But I want to give you this opportunity to recognize that being thankful for the chance to have this clean slate, to stand up again, to become this better version of yourself can be so powerful. And you should sit back and I know everybody's listening that's been through the divorce can probably look back and see what they learned from it and be thankful for some part of it, for some lesson learned. And it might take you a while. You might not be there, but I'm going to give you a few tips to help you maybe recognize that this hardship in your life right now is exactly what you need to stand up. Sometimes we have to fall flatter on our face than we ever have to be able to stand taller than we ever were. Your divorce is exactly that. Let it be the moment you fall flat on your face, but then let's stand up. One of the ways that we can do that in my book, No One Dies From Divorce, in chapter 10, I talk about breathe, learn, grow. Divorce will change you but you can decide whether it changes you for the better or for the worse. Follow these tips to learn the art of survival and becoming better than you were. Because I talk a lot about breathing and you're like, what does that mean? Literally, I talk about the art of breathing in, out. Breathe in, out. There is so many benefits to be able to get oxygen in your body to help you get those endorphins to be able to stand up again. And sometimes we don't know how we're going to walk. We don't know how we're going to run. So I say stop and breathe. Breathe in, breathe out, center your mind and find, focus on something that brings you joy, whatever it is. And if you're in that place where you just see chaos right now, I want you to close your eyes. I want you to take those deep breaths and I want you to dissipate those clouds and find one thing that brings you joy. If that's your children, if that's ice cream, if that's a friend's laugh, I want you to think about that. And through your breaths, let that joyful moment or that joyful memory bring you to a center of recognizing you're going to be okay and hang on to whatever that is that brings you that joy, brings you that happiness because you're going to be okay. The next thing I say is learn. What are you learning from this trial? What are you learning from this divorce? I know it's hard. Nobody wants to learn from our failures. Nobody wants to take and admit that we've done something wrong. Nobody wants to just sit there in our our disappointment. But that's where I want you to go. Because guess what? Within that, I know you're going to learn something from it. And it's going to make you better. It's going to make you stronger. Be thankful for this trial because It's going to be the opportunity that you're going to stand up and learn from it. Learn to be a better person. Learn to communicate better. Learn to be more present for your kids. Whatever it is, learn from it. Because that learning exactly from that failure, exactly from that disappointment is going to make it so it doesn't happen again. And you're going to become this better version of yourself that you didn't even know was possible. The last thing I'm going to tell you is grow. You're going to want to grow from this. And there's different ways that you can do that. 
One of the things is that I say getting through your divorce is like giving yourself a blank state. This is the time to start dreaming again and to make those dreams happen. When we get to the place where we've learned and we're able to decide how we're going to grow from it, we can become more powerful than we ever imagined. Some of the things that you can do in your growing stage is keep a journal. Write down these experiences because then you're going to be able to go back to them when you're really more emotionally stable and you're going to really then be able to learn from those experiences because you're in a place where you're ready to grow. Make new friends. There is no better way than to start over than recognizing that there are people out there that are yearning for your companionship. And I'm not talking about companionship with another spouse or another lover, or paramour, not that. I'm talking about true companionship with friends that need you. Go make those friends. Start dating people, but do it casually just by finding, finding people that you have something in common. Find intimacy again. I talked about this. Intimacy does not mean sex. In fact, I want to be very, very clear about that because rushing into sex too quickly after a divorce can be very, very hard on you. But find intimacy, find connection with the people around you. And that could be with your kids, with your friends, with your coworkers. Find a way to connect to them on a different level that maybe you haven't been doing. Get smart with finances. Hey, if you've never balanced a checkbook, time to do it now. If you've never been in control of your finances, guess what? time to do it now. And that's the best part about this is you get to learn and you get to grow from it. And guess what? You can do it. Everybody can be in control of their finances. Read a book about it. You can do it. And if you've ever had a complaint about how my spouse always did that, I'm left to the, the wind. I never knew what was going on. Yes. Guess what? Your divorce is the best thing for you because now you don't have to question anybody else. You get to take that control. You get to stop making those excuses and you get to do it yourself. So growing from that experience. So today, I want you to breathe in and be thankful for this new beginning because it can be beautiful. You have to create it. Go out there. Do it. I believe in you. Thank you for listening to this episode. If you enjoyed, please subscribe, follow, and share. I'd love to hear your questions and feedback. You can contact me at community at jillcoyle.com. See you next time. I am an attorney, but I am not your attorney. Any advice given on the podcast is general and shall not be construed as legal advice.